My name is John Brawley, and uh, I lived in Fredericton here for half my life, moved from Labrador. But uh, since, you know, the winter has passed and, uh, you know, the sun's been out a little more, the days are a little longer, um, you know, I'm pretty much at, uh, at net zero. I'm, I'm not, uh, I have zero um, power bill right now besides the regular fees and your water heater rental. So far, I'm, I've noticed that I, I don't have a power bill. So, you know, if I were to sort of reverse engineer the total cost of ownership and their return on investment, um, I, I'm thinking that this is going to turn out to be a good decision for me and my family. Yeah, I'd say I'm very satisfied uh, with the performance. Um, you know, I have an app that I can hop on and kind of track how I'm doing on, you know, sunny days or cloudy days or overcast days. Um, yeah, so, so far it's exactly what I hoped it would be. And uh, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, I'd say the reasons are twofold. So one, you know, I would be lying if I told you I didn't want to save some money, but also, you know, the energy costs are going up. And uh, anytime you can do something that's, you know, good for the environment and uh, that puts a buck in your pocket is, is something worth pursuing, I think. Yeah, I think they, uh, you know, the program made it worth investigating, you know, uh, a zero interest loan for, for 10 years, um, you know, just, Kind of reduce the risk and I, I think that uh, just noticing that the energy costs are going up you know double digits every year is you know it's sort of made it a bit of a no-brainer that this is worth investigating yeah you know what I came across solar I actually talked to a couple um, companies that did this sort of work and uh, and honestly it was basically came down to the, the rep at Zolar you know, he was a little more engaging. He got back to me, made sure I had the information that I needed and uh, and kind of, you know, helped move me through what it was gonna take to, to make this happen, help me understand that. And, uh, you know, the other company just really didn't get back to me. So uh, one person in the neighborhood uh, had solar panels. I chatted with him uh, a little bit. Uh, so I didn't have a lot to go on because there wasn't like, there was references I could really chat with. Um, it, it more or less came down to the serviceability. You know, when I when I talked to the, you know, to the fellow at Zolar, he was quick to get back to me, and uh, you know, th that's what I needed to be able to move forward as someone that gave me the information so that I could process it and make a decision. It's just everything you do just leaves a footprint, and uh, and you know, just like we we invested in a plug-in hybrid vehicle, and I, I thought, you know what, the solar might be. Uh, if it worked out financially, it, it would be a good step forward. And I, I think that's going to be the trend. Uh, we'll, everyone's looking for ways to kind of reduce uh, their footprint. So yeah, I, um, I'm happy to take part in that. Uh, I think in the long term, it's going to, going to save us uh, money as long as we stay in this house. And um, yeah, I, I'd have no problem vouching that uh, this idea has been a good one. <laughs>